Hey, this is Nathan with Pro Video Coalition. I'm here with Alex from Zero Optic. Good to see you. Thank you. And uh, we're going to talk about, what are we going to talk about here? This one Great, of a kind. Shiny, yeah. Uh, it's a Nikon 58mm uh, 1.3, T1.3 F1.2 knocked Nikkor. Um, it was designed in the late 70s for astrophotography. So it was a lab grade lens. In the 20 year production cycle of this lens, they made maybe 2,000 of them. Wow. So they spent a lot of time building each and every optical cell. So it's one of those lenses online where you just scour the internet for pictures and see this crazy bokeh and just exactly. lust after it, but you never get your hands on it. No, and, and a good copy can run you from four to six to eight grand. Um, and there are there are counterfeits out there too, so you have to be really careful what you find. So you had your hands on one, and you decided, I should take this apart. <laughs> I should spend a lot of money on this, and then I should deconstruct this and create something from the ground up. It's actually uh, full credit to Mark Lafleur at uh, Old Fast Glass. He brought me the project originally. So this is his his actual optical cell in here. Okay. Um, he, he's a Nikon guy, he grew up with Nikons, and honestly, I did too. And so we bonded over just a mutual love of the, the glass and the brand, and I was all in on, on rehousing them, and this was just the, the most interesting one to start with from the whole set. So, I mean, the thing that I've really enjoyed getting to know you and getting to know all your different creative projects, I feel like you're always doing something different than what everybody else is doing, which I really appreciate. Um, could you tell me a little bit about, I mean, it's, it's very rare that you get to meet the person who <laughs> created right. the lens that you're shooting with. That's what's happening right here. We're talking That's to like <laughs> the guy who designed this lens housing. So can you, can you talk to us about what went into that? How long did that take? Like, um, how are you able to do that? I'm, I'm actually really proud of it because I, I've been doing rehousing now for about two years. Um, you know, you find the pitfalls, the, the little things that you need to watch for. So this actually, I decided on the 1st of March that I was going to build this for NAB, started taking the lens apart, and three weeks later it was assembled. So that, that is a personal best. <laughs> really? <laughs> that is the fastest I think anybody has ever rehoused anything from scratch. Just a, a full 100% mechanical rehousing. And so tell us about uh, what it ended up with, because Nikon lenses... Focus usually goes one way. Right. Close focus on the original lens wasn't too bad, but also not amazing. Right. What have you done with it? Where have you taken that? So focus direction is exactly as you'd want it to be. Infinity focus is here, and you roll that way to close. Because um, honestly, the only thing that Nikon made at this point is the actual glass. Um, close focus is one foot. The, the factory, the, the Nikon close focus was just shy of two feet. Um, because it was designed for astrophotography and optimized essentially to be shot at infinity focus. And the closer you focus on this lens, it gets real creamy, which engineers don't like, but <laughs> cinematographers are all about. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the character of this lens. I mean, obviously when you first get your hands on this lens, you throw it wide open, you see yeah. what is what does this look like? So talk a little bit about the unique character. Uh, so obviously T13 on full frame, it has razor thin depth of field. Um, and the closer you focus, that spherical aberration that shows up means that what's in focus is dead sharp, but everything, you, there's no discernible bokeh at that point. It just turns into this melty background. Um, so it's a lot of fun to play with foreground elements, middle ground, background, and, and just you can create a, a much more interesting um, shot and scene with that kind of ability. And then it's because it was designed to be shot wide open, you can make it a two, make it a two eight, and it's still really clean. A lot of really fast lenses, they don't perform that well wide open. You have to close them to a two eight or a four just to get decent contrast and resolution. So this, this is just a, a monster piece of glass. <laughs> and I was also impressed that you know, 58 on the full frame sensor, it's not that tight. And even if you're backed off from someone and you're focused, say, at 15, 20 feet, yeah. there's still some like, there's still the shallow depth of field in this separation, yeah. even though it's kind of a wider field of view. Exactly, yeah. You, you could be focused on someone 30 feet away and there's still a discernible difference between them being in focus and mountains in the distance being out. 
It's amazing. And and also, I mean, this is this is the first lens. This is a one of a kind lens here. Yes. But you've rehoused quite a few other different types of lenses. Talk a little bit about what other styles of lenses you've done. Yeah, so we started with uh, with the original Baltars from Bosch and Lohm, not the supers, but the original 1930s uh, optical cells. And um, now we're moving more into full frame glass, um, a couple weird fun, currently secret projects for some clients. As I would expect. As you would expect. <laughs> and, and yeah, trying to stay off the beaten path as much as possible. Um, there are a lot of great companies that have already done some good work on stuff that everybody knows, everybody's shot with, and so it's it's more about finding the really cool niche products to work with. Very cool. All right, well we have a one-of-a-kind 58 millimeter, how, what is it, Nikon? Nikon, uh, Noct Nikor. Noct Nikor. <laughs> Amazing lens, and we'll sure show some uh, some stills and some footage from the lens as well, so thanks a lot, Alex. Appreciate no it, man. Thank you.